The Anacostia River in Washington, D.C. is rich with history dating back to the times of the Native Americans and Christopher Columbus. But in recent years, the Anacostia is better known as the forgotten and neglected river in the nation's capital. In 2006, the D.C. Department of the Environment launched the River Smart Homes Program as a way to combat the stormwater problem and to actively involve the community in the river's restoration. Thanks to this unique urban waters partnership, homeowners from all of the city's wards are enthusiastically adopting environmentally friendly landscaping practices to help bring back this degraded water body. Before we started this program, we had had similar programs. And what we found is that residents don't understand these technologies necessarily. They don't know how to plant a tree correctly. They are afraid of cutting their downspouts. Also, about 50% of the district residents don't own cars. So if you offer a rain barrel at a recreation center, they have no way of getting it home. RiverSmart focuses on five green practices that can be easily installed on residential lots throughout the city. Rain barrels, rain gardens, native plant landscaping, tree planting, and impervious surface removal. Demonstration homes in each of the city's eight wards feature all five practices. Kathy St. Hill owns the demonstration home in Ward 7. I actually found out about the River Smart Homes program from the DC Department of the Environment's website. I decided to participate in the River Smart Homes program because I wanted to do some landscaping on my property and realized that I could incorporate some environmental practices as well. We have uh, trees that we were able to plant. They have a large backyard with a lot of room for trees. We also had a downspout where we had a good flat area to install a rain garden and a rain barrel. And they also had an area that was once a large cement patio and we were able to remove that and replace it with nat native landscaping. Sit, drop it. Good girl. I come home now and if I've had a rough day, I can Sit. go out there and work in the yard. And I love it, I absolutely love it. In 2008, the River Smart Homes program expanded beyond the demonstration homes to a pilot program in the Pope Branch watershed, a tributary which feeds into the Anacostia River. Well, we started in Pope Branch because it's a clearly defined area. Additionally, there's a high amount of home ownership. There were a lot of retired and African-American uh, homeowners in this area, and those were target audiences that we wanted to learn what techniques worked in reaching out to them. And so that's why we chose this area. The pilot program assisted homeowners through the entire process of selecting, installing, and maintaining green practices on their property. After the homeowners register for the program, the first step is a stormwater audit. We schedule an audit where we go out to visit the homeowner, uh, look at what can be safely installed, and we provide the homeowner with a stormwater audit that gives them the background information to understand what are the problems on their property, what sort of actions can they take uh, that beautify their property, but also um, reduce stormwater on their property. We see it as an opportunity to really interact with DC homeowners and let them know about the issues. And then if they decide to take a further step and actually install something, we think that's an added bonus to the whole process. The homeowner selects which of the recommended practices they wish to have installed, and the DC Department of Environment nonprofit partners install the practices. After installation, the homeowner signs an agreement that includes a commitment and information on how to maintain the practices. $1,200 is available to each property owner for the materials and installation, which generally covers native tree plantings, downspout disconnection to a rain barrel, and one other technique. Homeowners pay a 10% co-payment for the installation of each green practice. One of the things that we learned, for example, was that having a co-payment was important to the people here because they felt that they would give them ownership of the different things that we were installing. We didn't want to just give it to them for free, then they wouldn't uh, think of it really as something that was important for them to maintain. Prior to participating in the River Smart Homes program, Jen and Dion Black were struggling with the quantity of stormwater and mosquitoes in their backyard. So whenever we got a, even a light rain, but particularly in really heavy rain, you know, we'd have standing water there for days after a rain. Um, all that standing water seems to be a mosquito breeding ground. You stand outside with shorts on, you look on your leg, there'd be like 10 sitting on each leg, so. It's pretty uh, bad. We have two small children, um, boys. They're two and four. 
and they love to play in the yard, and uh, it, sometimes it was just too wet to let them play. And with the mosquitoes, you just didn't want the mosquitoes all over them either. But um, since we've had this work done, it's been much, much better. The homeowners here had an issue with the topography of their property. This area actually here was naturally very wet. You can see that the property slopes down this way, and it slopes from over here and over here. So it's creating this natural valley. And so we created this rain river type garden that instead of the water sitting here, it moves along this stone. And by the time it reaches the back of their yard, most of it has infiltrated into the ground. This creates a focal point for their backyard. It's usable. It actually draws water away from some of the areas that maybe would be wet. So this is a great kind of addition to their yard. Our next door neighbors are new and um, she actually asked us what is going on over there <laughs> and we told her all about the program and I know she called and is very interested in actually possibly continuing um, the rain garden in her yard and I know some of our other neighbors down the street have also participated. Well one of the things we want to do um, with our stormwater management is try and keep you know reduce the amount of water that makes its way to the Anacostia River so we're trying to keep you know maintain the natural flow of water keep it on the property as it would be and keep that balance in the Anacostia River. It's a great river and we have to protect it. Up the street from the Black family, Donald and Barbara Harrison were also struggling with stormwater runoff in their backyard. So at this property, there's a lot of water coming towards the backyard. You can see the driveway slopes all the way down. This whole area slopes down and kind of converges right behind me in this rain garden. So all of this is just natural flow that's just flowing down the property to this area and you can see that there's neighbors behind. So we also wanted to try to stop some of the runoff from reaching the neighbor's backyard. So that's why we placed the rain garden right here. The, it captures all the runoff from the driveway and then anything that's just running down here. The rain garden has prevented the water from rolling down the hill, causing the erosion or the faster erosion of the hill. So we're pretty fortunate to have that there. The steep slopes and the resulting stormwater runoff that were a challenge for the Black and Harrison families are a common problem for other residents of the Pope Branch watershed. If you look at this slope, it's a very steep slope and there's a lot of houses here, all with their own individual footprint of impervious surface. And all that impervious surface adds up to a lot of stormwater that's coming down to our local streams. So if we can get each homeowner to adopt practices like this, it'll slow down that flow, that giant flow that's currently there to a trickle of stormwater that's coming to this area. Neighbors of the Harrison and Black families, Calvin and Celestine Sneed, live on a very steep slope. When they were in the market to replace their driveway, they learned of the River Smart Homes program. It's, it's working fine. When it came around, they explained what it was all about and the fact that uh, we could get the pavers and uh, DDOE would pay a certain amount of it which that was outstanding, but well, we needed a new driveway. So that was a good thing. We took from the carport down to the street to install the permeable paving. It's taking water from the hillside that flows to the retaining wall and then out the weep holes. And it's also taking any of the rainwater that would have fallen on the driveway itself. All that in a regular rainstorm would have rushed off of the site down these gutters and out into the Anacostia or into Pope Branch and then into the Anacostia River. Now it slowly percolates into the ground. Some of it is released over time, but for the most part, the water is going into the ground and recharging the groundwater. It's the prettiest driveway in, on this street, <laughs> at least. We think so. so. It was a no-brainer, yeah. Today, the River Smart Homes program is open to all district residents and the response has been overwhelming. Over 1,800 homeowners have applied for the program. We thought this program might only appeal to certain residents or certain parts of D.C., but it, we really have participation in every single ward in the city and really from all different kinds of socioeconomic backgrounds, different ethnic backgrounds. It really goes across the board, and our program is really spread through word of mouth. Homeowners are really appreciative for an opportunity to not only beautify their landscape, but after we meet with them, they really understand the environmental impact. And I think they're very happy to be contributing to helping green their city. Many urban waters across the country are polluted by stormwater and are struggling to find cost-effective solutions. DC's River Smart Homes program 
offers an innovative method to install green practices that reduce and treat stormwater runoff. For DC and potentially other urban areas, this innovative program holds the promise of creating a greener, healthier, and more climate-friendly city.